Okay, I got a new camera today, so we're going to try it out. And as I promised, we're going to figure out the lining for a pattern, pant pattern, trouser pattern that was not intended to be lined. But we're going to line it. Basically, what I'm going to do here's the front. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lining exactly like the pants. Once I get my zipper in and everything, I will adjust my lining whichever way it needs to be adjusted so that I can baste it or uh, stitch it, hand stitch it to that zipper. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen, but I think what I'll probably do is to go ahead and cut this whole thing out like that and figure that other part later. What I'm going to do on the hem, because these are cuffed pants, and here's our hem right here. This is where we're turning up at the hem. Okay, and then it's got about an inch and a half cuff, which goes the opposite direction. We want the lining to be able to attach to our, hem, our uh, hem line right here. So what I think I'm gonna do is to cut it right on this line where you fold up for the cuff. If I cut it on that line, then I'm gonna have ample room. If I cut it on this line, and here's my hem. If I cut it on this line, here's where the hem turn up ends, right here. And if I cut my lining right here, I'm going to have enough room to turn it under probably about a half an inch and stitch it, hand stitch it to that hem line. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut it right here at the cuff turn up line. Okay, let me get this laid out. Actually, yeah, let me get this laid out and then I'll be right back. Y'all really don't want to watch me measuring and pinning the grain line on that, so hold on just a second. Okay, now, as I was explaining in a previous video, and it looks like I didn't have to add two inches after all, I added one inch down the center. But you can see where I adjusted my darts right up here, that's the red lines, and <laughs> look how much I mark up my patterns. Look. I've got mark uh, notations here, I've got notations up here, I've got notations up here. Don't be afraid to mark up your pattern, especially if you're going to reuse it over and over and over again. So this was a little bit picky to lay out, this particular one. If you notice, I've got my fabric folded through the width, and uh, I'm laying it out that way, otherwise I don't think it would be, give me enough. And I've got my cuff line that we're going to cut on right here, so I've got about two inches left over at the fold line. I do need to cut some of that fold line out for my uh, waistband, so I'm going to keep that as close to the top as I possibly can so I can get this long length, uh, a long length of fold. If I can't get it there, I've got enough room to get it through here. The waistband on this, because this is actually kind of itchy, I'm going to uh, do the back of the waistband out of the lining fabric. That's just to give a little bit more softness. Okay, let me go ahead and cut this out, get the other one cut out, and I'm going to, the next step is we're going to start sewing, uh, probably insert the zipper first. But that's all for this video. Just wanted to show you how I made these little alterations and where I was going to cut in order to create this lining. We'll go through more of the, uh, making the lining for it, especially around that zipper area uh, in a later video. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.